So if you're looking to automate your SEO a little bit and save a lot of time when you're creating your blog posts, here's a quick little technique you can use so you don't have to worry about it. You can just write your blog post and move on. So I'm gonna use my portfolio on my one of my websites as an example. So I've got a portfolio on my web design site and I've got some categories here. So art, graphic design, logo design, web design. And what I wanna do, I wanna be able to quickly add to this portfolio without having to go into each piece and sort of you know, try to come up with some kind of keyword focused title and phrase in order to uh, you know, get my point across. I've got a project title and excerpt. Uh, you know, I don't wanna to have to type this in every time because every time you do that, you're spending a few minutes and if you're constantly working and trying to get ahead, this can get pretty old. And of course, this can be used for blog posts and that as well, but it really comes down to how you prefer to operate. So. What I'm actually gonna do, I'm actually going to exit out of this blog post and I'm gonna go into the all-in-one SEO settings. So I'm going down the left here to all-in-one SEO and then to search appearance. So you can see if I just tab back over for a sec, under my projects, I've got a bunch of projects there. Web design, web design, web design. If I go to the end, there's a few more under graphic design, logos and that sort of thing. So one thing I could do, I could do this with blog posts or with my portfolio, I'm gonna go over to content types in my all-in-one SEO search appearance. I go to content types. I'm gonna actually scroll down. I can do this for posts, but I'm gonna use projects for this video as an example, because you can do this on anything, pages, posts, you name it. So at the moment, I've got my project title and I've got my project excerpt here, and I'm gonna try and automate that a bit so I don't have to worry about it in the future. Now, my website is focusing a lot on web design and graphic design. So one thing I could do straight up is I can do a little separator here like this and I could just type in website and graphic design. But the problem with that is now this starts to get a bit long. And also on top of that, the words web design, website design or web design aren't together. I can try and shorten it, but it's just less targeted because what happens if I'm putting a website here what happens if I'm putting a logo here or graphic design or something like that? If I'm gonna actually stick to put, putting each post or project under one category, what I can do is remove this all together and go view all tags and I can scroll down. I can choose category title or I believe even project because I'm doing a project. Like the post type is a project. I'm gonna type in category. So yeah, category title. So you can see here, I've got project category title, which it could be web design. And then I can just simply add in portfolio entry or something like that. So you see here, we've got sample post, sample tax, and then we title portfolio entry. We're gonna check all this out in a minute and see how it looks. The other thing too is the excerpt, maybe what I type at the start of my post isn't really great, even though you kind of want to focus on that. Because what I'm saying here is I want to focus on the project title, but I'm using the category, whether it's web design or graph design, as sort of like a keyword in my phrase, because you want to have keywords in your title and in your meta description. You want to be focusing on a phrase and going after it. So I'm going to get rid of the project excerpt. So the next thing I could do is I can then say, and then I go in and add category. Have a look at this category portfolio piece four, and then I could add in the project title. And I can actually go ahead and automate several areas of this and make it so that it actually sort of automatically links up with bits and pieces of the site. So I can even add in there, you know, we are, and I could take that category title again, specialists based in the Fraser Curse or something like that. So I've actually got this here, it's all automated and uh, I can do the same thing with a blog. One thing you could consider, which I'm just gonna save this for a second, is going up to say your blog. Now, if you don't wanna type out this title every time, now this relies heavily on you, uh, if you're gonna say do blog posts on a particular topic, I would say leave the post title exactly as it is and try to make your keywords very strong in that uh, in that post. 
I don't know if you can actually choose your focus key phrase. No, that's all right, that's cool. But if you have, if you choose a title which is focused on the keyword you wanna rank for, you can leave that there and that will sort of help with uh, sort of getting the keywords into your title. I do recommend removing any extra like your name, just keep it straight as the title and the keywords you're sort of trying to uh, target. But under meta description, you could change it up and you could say, So if I actually keep this that way, which I will, and I save that as well, we're gonna go and have a look and see how it looks. Okay, so I've got this project open, which is part of my portfolio. If I hover over the header here, you'll see it says, Creator Impact Web Design Portfolio Entry. So it's grabbed the name, which is here, Creator Impact, and it's added Web Design Portfolio Entry because that is the category that this project is in. So why don't we check out a blog post as well? Although what we can do also is I'm gonna quickly view the source. Now it's a bit hard to see, so I'll focus it out a little bit, but we've got our description here and it says, have a look at this web design portfolio piece for Creator Impact. We are web, we are web design specialists. So I've actually been able to, it's not the best use of words, but I've been able to automate certain keywords into this sentence to make it easier. So now when I create these things, all I have to do is pick a category, give it a name and all the one SEO is gonna take care of it all for me. Now let's have a look at the blog posts and see what result we've got there as well. So again, if I hover over the tab here, you'll see it says four basic pages of your website needs. That was pretty much gonna happen anyway. But if we view the source again, now once again, there's a lot here to look at, but what we've got here is the meta description read our blog post and this is actually just a symbol for the inverted commas it will not actually show like that it will actually show as a comma but read our blog post four basic pages every website needs and learn quickly and easily for free this post is a great is great for anyone looking to learn information on web design so while it's not the best method for ranking in SEO it could be something you use for the things you need to get out quickly and then you could spend more time on the stuff you really want to rank but uh, it's just a great way to work hard and sort of basically get that, a lot of it automated so you're not having to go through the process with every single page and every single part of your website. Now I do recommend if you're building websites for clients and they wanna rank certain keywords, this is a great way for you to automate that as well because a lot of the pages probably don't need uh, a lot of information on them, especially if they're only small, tiny satellite pages. You can do this kind of thing for that, maximize those pages quickly, and then you can also spend a lot more time on the bigger pages, really honing in and getting your SEO down very particularly. So I hope you found that video useful. It was just a just a little tip, ways you can sort of uh, make things quicker with all-in-one SEO. Um, yeah, if you enjoyed the video, please consider giving it a like. Otherwise, I hope to see you again soon. Have a great day.